Well, how do there, people in the viewerverse? It is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, this is going to be a very short video on patches and what is out and what isn't out and on what platforms, because a lot of people are very confused and it's stopping them from enjoying the expedition to its fullest. So let me jump on over into the tint of webs and let me show you what's going on. So I put this post out on my community tab announcing that there are some more bug fixes coming out and some of them are for some of the issues that people are experiencing where it says like their inventory is full and all sorts of other stuff. And also the actual um, effects for the wings of the actual new hauler and a few other bits and bobs that are causing some pretty major issues. So if I click on this link, okay, it's going to open in a new pack in, in like a new window and it says here May 31st. So a lot of people think, ah, OK, well, it, it should be out already. OK, and it says there that it is coming to other platforms as soon as possible. But it doesn't say when soon as possible is. So a lot of people are like, OK, cool. Well, maybe that was in the last batch. You can see here this is 4.71.1. It's very rare that they do these point one things. Anyway, what you really need to do is hit release log. Okay. Now on the release log, you will see that point four seven one, just four seven one, is on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox Game Pass. Not on Nintendo Switch yet. So, bit of an oddity there no Nintendo Switch, even though the actual platform has got the full update, it just hasn't got any of the patches yet. So inside of here, this is what every platform has got. So if I go inside of here, scroll on down, it's got all of these fixes inside of here, people. And there's quite a lot there, including the one where the actual text tells you to get, was it magnetized ferrite rather than silicate powder when mixing with deoxygen to make deoxide or whatever it is so yeah there's a couple of decent fixes in here but nothing that's sort of stopping you from moving on some of those stuck mission markers that people were saying there you go look there's a silicate powder one right there that i was just on about which is the main one in here that's going to help massively with some of the people trying to get off the first planet OK, so there is that one, which is a good patch to have. OK, so that's everything inside of there. If I go back to the old release log, the only ones that are available for PC right now are the ones that I put out to say it's coming soon. That's why on my actual tab over here, I put fixes coming soon for the expedition. Now, a few people on the actual comment says, I'm confused. These fixes were in the last patch. Were they not fixed? So I sounded off to say, not for me, I didn't see the engine effects and people in my comments are saying that the S-Class stuff is still happening. Jason Plays though says that it's fixed his. Jason Plays is on PC. As per the link, they hit Steam and PS5 on the 31st of May. I completed the expedition on the 31st of May. Maybe there was a bit of crossover. I assumed that 4.71 was one bundle. I didn't realise there was a 4.71.1. I didn't realise I broke these down into two clumps. I thought there was one mass. So I was in the same boat. I was a little bit confused as well. Gunboat came back and said, interesting. And then that's when I noticed the stuff on the actual um, release log. So going back to the release log, these are the ones that are PC only right now. Right now. So hopefully, come this mid this week, I'd like to imagine that they are going to roll out on PlayStation and other platforms. You know, every platform has got their own like mini win release window. PlayStation is usually a Wednesday or Thursday for their updates and patches to come out on PSN. So that's why I'm saying midweek for PlayStation. But you never know with this stuff. Certificates and things can it can differ. It can it can change massively. But right now the only platform that it hasn't got any bugs inside of this expedition is PC. Okay, people, so that's that's pretty much everything that I've got for you. I hope that's cleared up a lot for anybody out there. So, yeah, it it is confusing. It's not the easiest thing to follow, but just go by the release log and you're looking at these little tiles underneath. And you can see there, it's, you know, it's only PC for 4.71.1 PC only right now. Okay. 
Got it. And that, that's a good way to get an idea whether something is out on your platform is by looking at this release log. I think this release log automatically updates as soon as their updates hit various platforms. Because you check and within seconds it's there, the new tile has appeared. So somehow they've done some sort of clever syncing up with all the different platforms. Very cleverly typed stuff. Anyway, check the release log if you're not finding that things that have said to be fixed have been fixed and you're not seeing that reflected on your own console. Something else that I just want to point out people is over on my actual community tab. I have got something going on this Tuesday on my channel. I'm not going to be doing hell divers for a little while. Mainly, let me jump back over onto the actual screen for a bit. Here we go, boom. Mainly because hell divers at the moment, it's got an infinite grenade thing and it, it just feels like I'm just throwing grenades all the time. And it's a little bit of a boring watch, to be honest. And also, there's a new race that's going to be coming out soon. The, I think they're called the Illuminati or something. And they're like these jellyfish that do mind control. Anyway, that updates. When that comes back out, hopefully they're going to patch that infinite grenade hack. And then I might find it more fun and I'll jump back in. I mean, at the moment, I'm seeing enemies and they're blown up before I get to kill them. Or I'm blowing things up before other people get a shot off. And it's like, well, why am I get unlocking all these weapons if all I need is a g grenades? You know? Anyway, so I'm not going to be doing Helldivers 2 until they fix that and put in a little bit more content. And then I'll pick it back up again. But for now, on an actual Tuesday, I'm going to be jumping into No Man's Sky. And I'm going to be maybe doing a few base tours. Hooking up maybe with Miyogi so he can showcase any pets if he's got any new pets. But other than that, I am also going to be giving out some ship parts. I'm going to build a little ship scrap yard. And I'm going to stand about and let anybody join my game that wants to join my game. And I'm going to give out ship parts. Because a few people have gone and scrapped their vulture thinking that they're going to get all three parts. And all they got was one part. So now they've just got a cockpit or a set of wings or a tail. And they're needing the other two parts before they can recreate their own vultures. Okay, people, so if, if you're in that boat, jump on over. Now, the only trouble is, is I need your friend's code. You need my friend's code to join my instance on PlayStation 5. It seems to be a little bit finicky. So there's my friend's code. Input that into your game. Get ready for Tuesday. And if you do want to join me and... I will need your friend's code. Just hit a comment, put your friend's code into there, into the comments, so I can do it pre-stream. Otherwise, my whole stream is just going to be me keying in people's friend's codes, and it, it's not really that much of an enjoyable watch. So try and get your friend's code in here, if you can, before the event. Okay? Anyways, people, that's everything that I've got for you, and um, hopefully I'll see you on the old Tuesday. Cool, yeah? And, uh, yeah. Until then, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Massive thank you to a backer of mine who upgraded to PC back a level. Chris Sunman, thank you. I have been doing pay three months for purchases and I am almost there. The PC is almost done, perhaps three more months. Thank you so much, Chris Sunman. Thank you from Captain Steve. PC is done, it means better content for everyone Ooh, oh, oh, oh Thank you, Chris Sunman Chris Sunman Thank you, Chris of the Sunman So seven two Oh, oh, oh Oh, seven chum You're awesome Once my PC is done It means better content for everyone Thank you, Chris of the Sunland, so seven chunks.